Oh, come on, you. The Lotus XL was launched in 1982 after investment in the ailing brand by Toyota, who'd engaged Lotus to work on the handling of their A60 Supra. The XL's 2 plus 2 design is an evolution of the earlier Elite in Eclat and was styled by Peter Stevens, who later was engaged to soften the corners on the second generation of Esprit's, and along with engineer Gordon Murray, to create the awesome McLaren F1. Although the XL's engine is the 160 horsepower 2.2 litre Lotus 912, the same all aluminium four cylinder unit that powers the normally aspirated Esprit's from the 2.2 onwards, the majority of transmission and drivetrain comes from Toyota. The front engine rear wheel layout achieves a near perfect 50 50 weight distribution, and this contributes a lot to the XL's reputation for superb cornering and handling. But I want to see what they're like to drive now, and whether they make a good modern classic purchase. So, this is a Lotus XL, which is quite a, an interesting one to drive, not least because this particular one has what could only be described as an on-off clutch. The brakes are interesting too, a little bit soft. It's one of my favourite ever cars is the Esprit, and this is a little bit similar to that I suppose. XL's 10 year production run, there were the inevitable facelifts and updates, including the SE with a high compression engine delivering 20 more horsepower, and the SA with an automatic gearbox. Current prices for the Lotus XL range from a few thousand for a project through to top teams for an immaculate example. You can still get a very good one though for under £10,000, which is probably where the smart money is. It will take a lot of cash to restore a Project XL, and at least for the time being you wouldn't see any kind of return by way of value, but you'd have some great fun driving it. The prices of the contemporary Esprit S3, rapidly heading north of £20,000, is now a good time to bag a more practical 2 plus 2 XL. For sure their looks may not be as iconic as the Giugiaro Esprit's, and they can't claim a W7 connection, but XL owners maintain that bang for buck, the XL is a very cool and exciting option. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other classic drives and reviews. Please also like and comment on this video. I love to read owners stories and memories of having ridden in the cars featured and I reply to them all. If you've more information about the cars that I didn't mention, that's always useful too. And you can follow what I do on Twitter and Facebook. See you next time.